The Hive Cluster is under attack. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Redor Remastered! Today, it's going to be our guy Stork versus Yuck here on Cross Game. It's an RJB replay. Check him out at RJBTV. YouTube.com slash at RJBTV. Top right, going to be Yuck. He is our barcode player today. He is hiding something. He is blue. And in the bottom left, it's our red Brotoss player. It is Stork. Holy smoke, Stork. I feel like I haven't seen Stork in a hot minute. I love this guy, though. So we're on Ashworld tiles here today on Cross Game. It's a very weird map. We've got minerals only expansions in the middle and full expansions all around the outside here. And every expansion has a super hard to wall off entrance, right? There's just no small ramps leading up to any of these, well, yeah, okay, this is a small ramp, but this is an expand <laughs> this is an easy way to get in, right? Right. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Got Terra the Overlord moving out. That's right, Terra. You are super cool and handsome and on shirts, two separate shirts, at falconpaladin at gmail.com. Overpool opening here, by the way, from Yuck. And a mug. If you're interested in Terry the Overlord merch, as well as more generic Falcon Paladin branded merch, check it out at falconpaladin.store. Nice. Be sure again to do the currency selector up at the top right, okay? Because it will default to Australian dollars, which is like 99% sure that's not your currency. You can choose your local currency on it. Whatever it is. Is it euros? It's there. Is it, I mean, lira? It's there. Actually, is it still lira in Turkey? I think it is. Anywho. Point is, Falcon Paladin not store, good place to get merch. All right, neat. We've got a probe moving out, trying to scout things, see what's going on. Terra the Orville doing the same thing, bypassing his friend, the Kakaru. Kakaru, Kakaru. Oh, you're very busy today, Kakaru. We can't stop and chat. Okay, goodbye. Kakaru, Kakaru, and gone. Terra the Overlord always like connecting with his friends, even if it's just for a minute. It's a very wholesome thing to do. Yeah, probe harassing his stork. He's mean that way. Forge expanding is our guy. I think he forged expanded without scouting this, so just being safe, right? No reason to go Nexus first or Gate Expand. And against an Overpool, pretty safe to go Forge Expand for sure. So, Cannon coming up. Lings are out. And by that I mean there's like one running down this way. And the other one is busy chasing our probe. Will not kill it until it gets Metabolic Boost. And, well, the Extractor's not even done yet, so that's going to be a hot minute, isn't it? Terror the Overlord coming in. See, is okay. Gateway, Forge, Cannon. Great. We're just going to park right here because nothing can shoot at us for a minute. There will be no Dragoons for at least one or two minutes here. So just kind of hanging out for now. Everything is totally cool. And, ooh, very nice. Double expanding. Quick second base and a quick third base. Well, kind of a later second base and a quick third base. There we go. It's <laughs> more what we're looking at here. Zerg players don't necessarily care about ramp sizes. Actually, hold on. That's a small ramp, but there's another way up, right? As I was looking at this thing. Oh, I'm a liar. I'm a huge liar. Okay, so this its not exactly a normal skinny ramp, but that's pretty darn skinny, right? Okay, so there are two places you can expand on this map that has relatively narrow ramps leading up to them that are easier to wall off and hold if you're Protoss or Terran. All right, good stuff. Cybercore on the way from Auragas Stork. So far, nothing crazy. Oh, I was going to say Metabolic Boost before Lair, but Lair's coming up. Just kidding. So Lair's on the way. Metabolic Boost after that. With, and then you pull workers off gas. Yes? No? Okay, we're going to go for Mutalisks. Let's do this thing. We're going to go Spire opening at the least, but the fact that we're going for a bunch of gas here. So at least a Spire. Look at all that gas, though. Hmm. So, I mean, you have enough money for gas or for a spire now. So, let's see if that thing gets tossed down. Um. Um. There it is. Okay. Spire. And now? Oh, still getting gas. Okay. Fine. We'll see how this goes. You know how I feel about mutalisks in a ZBP, but could change his mind. Could do something else here. Could just be for Scourge. Stargate warping in now. Stork not reinventing the wheel here. 
Gonna send out a Zealot that is gonna die. Look how many millions of hits it takes for Lings to kill a Zealot. It's so many hits. Zealot's just like, you are annoying me, pests. Not, okay, no kills on that Zealot. That would have been embarrassing to lose a drone to a single Zealot. A single slow Zealot with no upgrades wandering across the map. Air weapons! Air weapons on the way. That indicates more than one Corsair, more than one or two or three Corsairs are going to be produced. It could be at least four to five to six. Also, a Citadel coming in here too could be DT Corsair. Could be some of those shenanigans. And again, this is an RJB replay, so check it out. YouTube.com slash at RJB. He supplies me with so many good replays every week. Not every replay that I cast is from him directly, but many are. Because he's awesome. You love StarCraft as much as I do, probably more. Which is a lot to say. This is not Terry the Overlord, is it? Terry, did you come down this way and you're getting assassinated by a Corsair? It's kind of your fate. Maybe this is you. No. I don't know. Either way, rest in peace, Overlord. You deserve love. Yep, second Corsair, third Corsair in production. Temple Archives. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Warp it in here. Macro Hatch at the third. We already looked at that. Yuck is supply block. Bad news bears for him. Oh, Macro Hatch at the second base, too. Loving that. So his Spire's done, and he's not firing up Mutalisks. Which, again, against a Corsair player who's working on plus one attack. Good. <laughs> Is he making a Hydralisk 10, though? What are you doing, man? Creep Colony, Hatchery, Spire... Am I blind? Is there a Hydralisk 10 somewhere already? What is he doing? Oh, it is Mutas. All right, fine. It is Mutalisks. Woof. Boy, Falcon is such a pessimist about Mutalisks in this matchup. But you know what? I've seen it win. I've seen it win a couple times against really good Protoss players who went for the Corsair opening. It's not impossible, it's just hard. And you know what? We've seen Hyok have some pretty solid victories against good Protoss recently. So, I'm going to put some trust in you today here, Hyok. DT's on the way from Stork, by the way. So it is Corsair DT. Nice. With some Zealot support here, too. Overlord speed is helpful in this situation, just because the Overlords don't have... They're not sitting ducks for Corsairs anymore. But, oh my gosh, another macro hatch. Is this, like, Ling Muta? Nope, there is a Hydralisk then. Okay, great. And there we go. Just popped missile attack upgrades. Uh, wait, upgrade missile attacks. Where's the... That's... Here it is. Evolution Chamber getting... I don't know. No, DT. This is not the place for you. Ooh. Oh, I was going to say. Managed to not take a sunken hit. He did. Took a sunken hit. So the Mutas... Ah, here we go. Skirt making some connections. Yes. I think they killed a Corsair there, but there's two and two cannons, and the Mutas are like, ow, that hurt a lot. Are you serious? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is silly. Why'd you do that? You just, you killed like six things for a DT. Not a good trade, Stork. You're better than this. Much better than this, honestly. Zealot legs on the way, plus one ground weapons on the way. Oh, I mentioned hitting the like button. Is a good thing you can do for the channel yet? It's nice. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that I exist. Aw. Thanks, Algi. Algi the algorithm. That sounds offensive somehow, and I'm not sure why. Algo. Algo is a stronger name for algorithm guy. Algo the algorithm. Ooh, took an Archon hit there. Never good. But yeah, like button. Subscribe. I'm here six times a week, man. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday with Brood War content. Most of which you've never seen before. You've never seen this game before. This has never been streamed on Afrika or on Twitch ever in the history of anything. Artosis has never cast this game. These are the games that have never been cast before, period. How cool is that? So this is why the Mutas are annoying. Because they can pick off your High Templar and, like, I guess try to kill your Zealots. But Zealots are tanky and they don't really care about Mutalisk attacks that much. Corsair pumping. He's like, this is... These Mutalisks are a concern. Yes, they are. Storm coming in. If you skip Storm in a PvZ, you're just asking to lose. SimCity. Sunkins. Hydras. Hey, Overlord speed is done. Look at him running from that Archon. He would have died to that Archon without the speed upgrade. Oh, free Hydralisk, though. What are you doing out here, Hydralisk? Bad. But Hydra is top of a ramp with sunken support behind it. No... 
No. Simply no. 106 to 95 supply stork is up in overall supply. But hydras are one supply and very cost efficient. At least until storm comes out. So everything's okay. Storm is on the research. Free scourge kill. Checking to see if we can expand up this way. This is the logical place for a third. Because again, the ramp isn't huge. Like every other base on this map. Okay, so it is Mass Hydra. I was, for some reason, I was feeling like this wasn't going to be Mass Hydra. But you know what? Against a Corsairing Protoss, Mass Hydra, a good answer. Just got to dodge them storms, man. Easy to do? Absolutely not. Carapace upgrade coming in. Already have plus one missile attack. The gateway units have plus one attack. Working on plus two. Singularity charge on the way because he knows the threat of lurkers is real. Lurkers could be a problem, but Dragoons trade fairly well against Hydras anyway. Dude, that Corsair ball is big. But almost flew over, like... 27 Hydralisks, which is on the list of things not to do if you're a Corsair pilot. Step one, don't let Scourge touch you. Uh, step two, don't fly directly over a giant ball of 27 Hydralisks. Solid. Any any static defense at all from Hyuk that shoots up? No. No spores today. Who needs spores? It's just 27... Well, it's 27 Hydras, so it's not that many Corsairs. It is exactly seven Corsairs. All right, so DT in the mix, getting oh, kind of getting blocked up by his own bros there. Those zealots were like, no, DT, bro, we can't let you out there. It's too dangerous. And then he didn't get anything done as a result. You got to take some risk, man. And Hyuk doesn't overextend. Chases the Protoss back to where he came from. Fourth base timing for Hyuk really needed to be a couple of minutes ago, I'm realizing. But he's been busy. Although, if he takes down the third base of Stork, maybe he doesn't really need a fourth? That's a possible That's a possible answer here. I like that he's got his Muta flock. There's only three of them. But you can snipe a High Templar with three Mutas, because they are not tanky. They're some of the squishiest units in StarCraft, High Templar are. I mean, they're not Zerglings, but come on. High Templar die. They die. I think this base is pretty available to kill. You gotta worry about two storms on that High Templar. And the army kind of right next door to it. Hmm. Mutas looking got oh, look at my board. I said about killing High Templar with Mutas. Okay, that wasn't as easy as I thought it was. But coming from all sides here. Hydra's right side, Hydra's top side. The Zerg player's up in supply. And again, when it's Hydra's, you're in trouble. Now morphing some lurkers in at the front of the battlefield. Some transferring probes get sniped. That's not good. 54 to 49 workers now in favor of Hyuk. Corsairs, I think. Think flew in and tried to kill some stuff. I'm not sure there are any overlords here, though, based on the fact that there's 158 supply for Hyak. Oh, did that DT kill a morphing, uh, morphing, a morphing lurker egg? I think it may have. Where are you, guy? Did you die? No, you're up here. You're fast. Eight kills on that one. Holy smokes. Good. Very good. A queen's nest on the way. Another base. Here we go. Minerals only base here. Oh, cross game. Oh, I cast an incredible game. I think it was between Queen and Stork on this map. No, oh, months ago now. It must have been six, eight, maybe ten months ago. That was crazy good. Or, uh, just seeing this, uh, seeing a hatchery at this position reminded me that I've cast games on cross game before. Hydro Lurker trying to bust up. DT makes it in. And there's Detection and Hydra. So, no. Bad. But cannons against Lurkers are pretty good. Ooh, free obs, though. That was a bit careless from Stork, for sure. Overlord killed. Okay, not supply blocking, but very close to supply blocking. Yuck, that's another... Oh, ah, ouch. Ow. Ow. Protoss fans, I see your comments, and I recognize I've not cast a bunch of PvZ wins in the last month or so. I have cast at least two, I think three. If this turns out, turns out to be another one, I am sorry. I don't watch these things before I post them. I mean, place your bets. Who's going to win this thing? This is pretty close. Three basing Protoss. Against a sort of four basing Zerg who doesn't have that fourth extractor, which is kind of important for what Zerg players are trying to do, which is things like lurkers and defilers. And maybe he's going to go into ultras. And you can't go into ultras off of three gas. I mean, you can, but you can't make enough ultras to be awesome. <laughs> which is how I feel about it. 
Hydra's lurkers sharking around this third base of Stork again. Adrenal immediately starts as soon as the hive finishes because it's a lot of dragoons here. This is such a tough thing to attack into as a Protoss, but storming the gap is pretty good. Uh, but on the other side, Yuck says, you don't get a fourth base. Only I get that fourth base. Rawr. And then Stork says, you haven't dislodged me from this position, stupid. The Archon's on the backside because they don't want to fight against the Hydras. And if Lings wrap around the backside... Oh, this is Yuck going for the surround, though. This is Yuck going for the surround. Storm, win. Kill this top side first, and then killing the bottom side's easier, I guess. How much Storm is available? Uh, none. N none, actually. What is How are there Storms available? Oh, there's more High Templar than I thought. Lings don't have Adrenal yet. Archon, turn around and fight them. Fight the Lings. There you go. Oh, don't fight the Hydras, though. Oh, crushed. Anytime a Zerg player can get a full surround on an army, whether it's Terran, whether it's Protoss, they're going to have a good time. That full surround is what you want. That's what you're aiming for. And the best Protoss can usually avoid getting surrounded like that. It wasn't a full surround either. Stork found an angle to kind of get out of there and escape. But it didn't escape. Oh boy. Big Hydra Lurker army. You need all the storms in the world. How many storms do you have? That's a huge storm. What a connection there. But the Hydra count continues to flow. It's like Dune. Lings are rolling in. 122 to 115 supply. Pull back. Pull back. Let the Zealots in front. Let them fight. Let the cannons fight too. Cannons still pretty good here. Corsair's trying to kill Overlords. Dude, the stacked up Overlords though. I don't know. Supply blocking Yuck's going to be hard, but it's kind of working here. Oh my gosh. He was at 190 something supply and now he is zero supply blocked, but every Corsair died for that. Good trades, I don't know, but Chuck supply blocked. That slows him down immensely. He just fired up four more overlords to try to rectify that. But he's setting up a contain with Lings, Hydras, Lurkers here. Dude, Chuck's ZVP lately has been astronomically impressive. I not is Chuck is not a name where I'm like, yeah, he's good at ZVP, but now it is. Now that's what I'm feeling and thinking. Uh, Ling's rolling in to die. I don't... You guys aren't really accomplishing much, guys. Bad. You need to be consumed by defilers at this point. There we go. Now we Dark Swarm, and now the Ling's can accomplish things. Pop. Dark Swarm up. Double Dark Swarm up. Ling's moving in. Kind of overextending a little bit here. Stork defending. Is Hyuk overextending here? Plague's almost done. A plague into a defensive position like this is super big. And Chuck has taken the 12 o'clock base while he was at it. Good storm inside the dark swarm. Okay, storm's still coming in. He's not sending the whole army in because he wants to bait out those storms first. Storm, storm. How many storms does Stork have? As many as he needs. And, okay, so the initial dark swarms wear off. Lurker is pulling back. 132 to 118 supply. Again, Hydra Ling heavy army here. Ooh, free High Templar though? Bad. Don't, no free High Templar. Bad. Don't do that. DT. Ugh. Plus three attack. 50 damage per swipe, man. DT's hit hard. He's trying to bust out. It's got to be on the backs of Storms. Teching into Reavers here would be super good too, but I don't know if he has the time for it. He needs to win this battle and do some kind of a counterattack if he's going to win this game. Or do both at the same time. He's sending a DT up. That would be huge if we can get some connections with that. All right. 118 to 102 supply. DT sneaks up. Going to maybe get three drone kills. That'd be pretty doing back here. Okay. But seriously, kill the... There you go. Killing the guys. Ling's Ling blood coating this ramp here. Okay. Okay. So this fourth extractor, it exists, but... There's no drones mining it. Mm, uh, 117 and 108. So this is a good game. This is a really good game. Kill. Yes. More drones dying. Okay. Oh, yeah. He brought an overlord over. Nice, I guess. DT gets out with nine kills. All right. That's what he needed. That's what he needed to do. Slow down the Zerg economy at least a little bit. He needs more zealots. He definitely needs reavers here. I'm just... These dragoons... Not going to trade well. And Adrenalings against... I don't know, man. Adrenalings against Zealots make good trades, too. 
Busting out of here is so hard. Where is his supply? Both players are on such low army value right now. Play catching some of those red dragoons. Hard to see it, but it's there. Archon, 14 kills and dead. Some of those kills came when he was too high Templar. For sure. Adrenalings on top of your plagued dragoons. Bad. Uh, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Wow. I honestly pulled up this game and I was like, Stork's a madman. Hyuk's going to have his work cut out for him, but Hyuk has looked like kind of the better player here today. I mean, 111 to 92 isn't over. It's just that you're three basing it versus a four base, and the fourth base is actually alive now for Hyuk. So the longer this game goes on, the worse it is. Some decisive event needs to happen here from Stork. He is not ticking into Reavers. There are people in the comments who are going to have some thoughts about that. That High Templar is like, whoa. This High Templar is like, whoa. Pull back, pull back. Expanding up here, a possibility. 127, 130, and 99 supply. The supply block slowed Hyuk down, but not forever. Not forever. Plague, sick plague. The Defiler escapes the psionic storm, but this contained has just never gone away. And as soon as I say that, it goes away. The heck is that? Ling left behind to make sure if that's attempted. Oh, there. I mean, you've called the horde. You've startled the witch. <laughs> <laughs> High Templar dying, taking a lot of Hydras with them, though. Plagued Dragoons fighting. Ah, Ling's are on the backside. That's your GG. Ah. Stork taps out, and Yuck is your winner in 21 minutes and 40 seconds. What an absolutely impressive display of ZVP there from Yuck. Did he get supply blocked because he lost all of his overlords to Corsairs once? Yes. That happened. Did he almost lose a drone to a single slow zealot earlier? Yes. Did he lose a million hydralisks to psionic storm? Absolutely. Was his macro good enough to overcome all of those things? Yes, it was. It was. That was insanely good. He's got adrenal for his lings. He got 3-3 on those boys. He got 3-3 on the hydras. It's not super easy to have 3-3 for hydras and lings at 21 minutes. It requires constant attention to upgrades which is exactly what he did. And yeah, just no storm drops, no reaver plays here from Stork today. It's going to make it harder than it needs to be to defeat someone going Ling Hydra Lurker. The Lurkers weren't a huge part of the game. It was mostly just Ling Hydra, which is even more impressive. But yeah, no reavers here. The storm was good, but not good enough, which is not something that I say a lot. But it wasn't. It simply wasn't quite good enough. So just, man, Hyuk. Hyuk's playing so well. I really don't know how else to end that analysis. If you see Hyuk in a, in a future game title, pay attention. 174,000 points for a Stork, 178,000 for Hyuk. Outproducing the Protoss player by 3 to 1. A lot of those were Lings. Kill death ratio, 400 to 164. Again, Lings kind of inflate those numbers resources outspending there it is outspending the protoss 51,000 and 42,000 there 9,000 resources a little bit less but still in 20 minutes is massive able to get up that fourth base able to get up that fifth base at the 12 o'clock too sure he lost six drones up there but he's saturated it eventually and zerg players can replace workers pretty quickly that's what larva is for so man excellent truly excellent zvp on the side of of yuck here Stork played well. Again, no Reavers, but the question is, when do you take the time to tech into Reavers? 18 minutes? 17? You want to start at as early as 15, maybe? Did the Corsairs get the damage done they needed to? Should he have not invested so much into Corsairs in this game? That's a thought. Hmm. Okay. Well, enough thinking. That's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.